So we are down in the pits now, obviously for 46 points to 44. We've caught up with Richie Worrell. Uh, paid 14 for yourself, Richie, so hardly a disaster of an evening, but obviously the result wasn't quite the right one. Down to the end again, wasn't it? Um, you know, we obviously Ben's, uh, you know, Ben Marley, first match in, you know, trying to get comfortable. I know he wasn't um, mixing it up, so that's uh, the one who kind of, well, I feel like was a little bit weaker. Uh, hey, you know, we can't knock him, it's his first match. I don't think he's been riding an awful lot, so hopefully he finds his feet. And then it shows, you know, like I had a good night, you know, Kyle, me, you know, Ben. Even you know, young Ben, you know, that heat four what he went out and done was um, was a bit special. But he, you know, he kind of, if we can get him to go on and, uh, you know, repeat that, you know, because he's, yeah, you can do it, he's, he's done it. So, yeah, we just, when we, when we gel, when we have that moment when we all gel, I think, you know, we'll, we'll be a very strong team. But at the minute, we're, we're not all working on the same, same page. Yeah, I was going to ask, I'm glad you brought up Ben Trigger, of course, because it was you that was there in second place having a good view of it and uh, kind of shepherding him, in, shepherding him home. But he's got plenty of pace, hasn't he? He has, and what I saw was a different Ben, you know, the way he rode the bike. So then I watched his race after because I thought this would be interesting, and he just, he was a totally different rider. Back to the old Ben, you know, riding around the curb with his left leg out, you know. But that, I sat behind him and watched him, you know, the, the four laps, and I have, I've said to him, look, you need to study that now. That race, keep watching and watching it because you did a lot of things right. He, you know, the line that he was on was the main thing. So um, if he can hopefully take some confidence and some knowledge away from that and then you know, go on and, and try and finish this year strong, then you know, hopefully that will uh, be a turning point. We need strength in reserve, don't we? Yeah, and Jake as well, you, know, he's, um, you can't quite get past that blunder of falling off in heat two. Um, that took you know, a lot of conversation, a lot of getting it out of him because if you sat there with his head in his hands, you know, it's, it's happened again kind of thing. I spent about 10 minutes chewing his ear off and, uh, and then he went out and he had that, that win. You know, so I thought, God, that must have worked. Um, he just, just rushes a lot of things. So it's, there's, there's, um, I think some experience in this top end and, and we really need to start sharing it with these lads. So that's something I've, I've tried doing more of tonight. But like I say, it's easy for me personally, my night was going good. So I'm not doing an awful lot with the bike. You know, I'm, I'm watching the races, but I can pass a lot of my time on, you know, a lot of, a lot of knowledge or thoughts onto these younger lads. But when it's not going well, it's a little bit harder, but you know, I'm going to try and do that a lot more now. And um, you know, being an arm around them or something, you know, at least, and try and, try and help them get going. Because it's important, we need that, we do. Are you enjoying it? I mean, you seem like you're quite enjoying that, you know, the score line's not right and, and people aren't quite firing. You're making, scoring big points for yourself, of course, but are you enjoying that aspect of kind of coaching the others? I like, yeah, I like, I like doing that. It's something, I've said I want to do in the winter actually, you know, nobody does it. Um, I'm here, I feel, I feel like it's all still fresh up there from when I, I was learning and going through it all. So um, running a lot of school in the winter is something that I actually want to do because I do enjoy it. Not necessarily for the money because it, it's something I do enjoy doing. And if, if it can tie some days over in the winter and uh, help bring some kids on because you know, at the end of the day we need some good British talent coming through, don't we? And um, I think there is some there, but they need help. And I, I remember when I was learning, Help was very difficult to come by. You know, everybody wanted wanted to put their hand in your pocket. You know, if, 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 if they was helping you. So, um, yeah, I do. I do enjoy it. Definitely, definitely do. And you know, I'm enjoying Plymouth. It's a long, good way, but it's it's worth it. You know, I do enjoy it. Well, that's good news, and I know that people are really enjoying watching you here as well, Richie. Another great night. Paid 14. Uh, obviously, not the score that you want. On to Wimborne Road tomorrow, though. Uh, what do you think you're going to do up there? Who knows? It's just, this is speed, and we could go there and win by ten. Um, it, it happens, that kind of thing. So, I mean, hopefully, you know, that's the way it goes. But um, it's a track I like. Um, you know, we've all, we've been there a couple of times already now, so with no excuses on that side of things. And uh, yeah, let's let's just go and have some fun. That's the main thing. Just gonna enjoy it. Well, good luck with it, Richie. Hope it all goes well. And uh, obviously, I expect you've got 120 meetings before we see you back here again. So good luck with it all. Stay safe and, uh, yeah, keep it pinned. No problem. Thank you.